Hello everyone, this is Alex again, just doing another walkthrough of how to use certain apps. Today we're going to be talking about Adobe Spark Video. It was also dubbed Adobe Voice in the beginning. You might have seen this before. If you haven't used it, it's an incredibly powerful presentation tool you can use. Super simple to use for students and for teachers alike. Let's go ahead and dive right on in. When you open it up, if you open it up for the first time, it is going to give you a wonderful tutorial. Pay attention to this tutorial. It's wonderful. Um, it gives you everything you need to know. You can learn it all in less than a day. So, Or less than, not a day, that's hilarious. I was looking at edited today. In less than a few minutes. Um, one thing to know about Adobe Voice, you will need to, or Spark Video, you will need to create an account. It is an account-based um, app, so you'll need to create an Adobe account. Where I am right now is my library, like many apps, this takes us to our library page first. Let's talk through this right over here. On the side you've got a settings wheel, you can change some settings with your account. Down at the bottom, inspiration, you could look through other videos that have been created before. Um, you also have the plus button, which is what you need to create a new one. And my videos right here, this is my library like you saw before. Uh, just an example of what this kind of looks like. Let me just show you. Here's one. Though shooting is not for everyone, it might be for you. If you wear this, you will not need to die. If you wear a sandal or anything that is quite like a sandal, you also will not be tying your shoes. Perfect. So you can see from this example that you basically get an idea of what Adobe Voice is. It's pictures, it's voice, it's music. But it lays it out so easily for you. So let's go through this. Down at the bottom, we're going to create a new one by hitting the plus button. It's going to take us to a page here. Let's create one about water bottles. Why not? Okay, water bottles. There we go. We'll do next. You can also skip that if you'd like to. This is a template library, so if you'd like to pick a template, you can. You can choose any of these, a hero's journey, show and tell. All of those, it'll give you ideas. So if you want to use one of those for inspiration, go ahead. You can start from scratch down at the bottom, or you can pick a new pick a new one, or pick a template, excuse me. I usually go with start from scratch. So we'll go start from scratch here. Takes us to this page you saw before when I showed you my other uh, example. At the top, the layout is here, so if you'd like to change the layout of what it looks like, you can. Themes here and music here. Pay attention to those. Uh, we'll, we'll come back to them a little bit. Uh, down here, main page. Um, we've got the video. You can add You can add elements. You can add a video element, a text element, a photo element, or an icon element to your page. So we're making one about water bottles. So let's go ahead and add some text. Water bottles. Okay. We've got our text on there. There you go. It puts it in. You can, I believe if you select it, you can choose to make it. Oh, you can't change the size. I thought you might be able to change the size. Either way, the next important thing, hold to record. When you hold this button down, it will record as long as you are holding the button down. So don't let up right away. Don't just push it one time and let up. You have to hold it down. Hello, this is Alex Rowe. I'm making a presentation on water bottles. There you go. That's as simple as it is. Check this out. When I hit the play button right over here, this play button will play just this slide. So I'll play it. Hello, this is Alex Rowe. I'm making a presentation on water bottles. Oh my goodness, did you notice that there's actually music put in behind the slide automatically? It does all of this automatically for you. Okay, let's add another page. Down here at the bottom, we've got a plus button. Let's use that plus button. Add another page. All right, now we can add photos in, we can add an icon in, uh, or a video. So let's add a photo. When you tap on photo, you can find photos on uh, on your iPad here. You can take a picture if you'd like to. You can use the Creative Cloud, any of these other apps. I usually like the Find Photos feature. So let's type in water. Oops, if I can type water. Water bottles. And then it'll do a search for you. Check it out. You can add that right in, and then you can record over it. My favorite type of water bottle is a mason jar. Perfect. So I've recorded my voice on there. Let's add another page with another element. 
Let's go with icon. Same thing with icons. Do a search for water bottles. Boom. You can get all sorts of different kinds of water bottles on here. Okay, choose one of them just by tapping it. It will load that image up for you. I think you can. With this, I believe, can you? No, it just tells you the information. I thought you could zoom in on it, maybe not. There are many types of water bottles in the world. Okay, I've added some more voice to it. Let's add another page. Let's go to video here. Oh, nice. These are videos that are on your device already, so you're not going to be able to do a search for videos uh, unless you want to make your own video. So, uh, I've added all the elements in that we need to. Let's go back to one of these other ones. Let's go to this guy right here, for an example. Okay, let's go to layout at the top. If I tap on layout, this will give you an idea of the different options. If you do split screen, you can choose one side and then you can add text or whatever else you want to. Many different types. We'll have that text in there for us. Why not? Okay. You can also swap those by tapping the button right here at the top. Choose to change the layout. Okay. Themes at the top. If I tap on themes, oh my, I can use a different theme for the whole entire presentation. Okay, you can search through those. If you like any different ones, you can choose them. Um, it, 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 I love how easy this is for any kid. Okay, Music also, when it automatically puts the music in for you, it's pretty fantastic. But you can choose different, different uh, sounding music if you'd like to. So maybe you want to have the Woodland Jam because it's playful. Got happy, playful, relaxed, rousing. Ooh, let's hear the rousing. Yep, very rousing. Thematic, thoughtful, uplifting, warm. And you can also choose songs from your own iPad here too if you'd like to. Okay, if you want to use any of those, let's go Trek Further. Oh, yeah, Trek Further, perfectly. So now, I'm going to show you one more. So we've used music, we've used themes, we've also used the layout. Down here at the bottom, this gray play button will play the whole presentation. So we didn't do anything on this slide, so I'm going to delete this one. Okay. Um, if I hit this gray button down here, though, it will play the whole presentation. Check it out. Hello, this is Alex Rowe. I'm making a presentation on water bottles. My favorite type of water bottle is a mason jar. There are many types of water bottles in the world. And ladies and gentlemen, that is as simple as it gets for making a presentation. Uh, like I think I showed you before, uh, accidentally, you can tap here, if I add another page, okay? If you can tap on this little arrow, this carrot here, tap on that and you can delete a slide if you'd like to. Then you have to tap the X again. Uh, some other things to be aware of, this one right here, see how it says four seconds? If I tap on the four seconds, I can remove the narration, um, and I believe you can, maybe you can't make it, there was a way to change the, how long the slide was. Well, maybe not. Used to be able to change how long the slide went for, so people could watch the slide for longer, but it automatically does that for you now. Um, all right, so that's it. This is Adobe Voice, Adobe Spark Voice or uh, Spark Video, I should say. The Shero up here on the right-hand side is there. Also, take you back to your home right there so you can deal with your library, manage your library that way. And that is it. Hope you enjoy it and use it often.